Good afternoon, Warriors. It's Lisa Wolf here, and today is Slow and Steady Sunday. And on Slow and Steady Sunday, y'all, I just experienced something that was just absolutely amazing and Sorry for the noise. It is like completely like like a tsunami out here. <laughs> um, I was just listening to a song when I pulled up. Um, I want to say it was Matthew West. I'm not certain. It, and the main thing it said, letting go where letting go is where life begins. And for the long for the last couple of weeks, um, I've been just listening and following along with Romans 8. And the title of that is Life Through the Spirit. And in it, there's a lot of things. And um, today we did communion. And one of the things that my pastor said and... It like really like struck me like big time was where were where were you in your life at the last communion and especially with Jesus and I was like I was living the life but not to the full extent that I need to and then I got sick and through these trials and tribulations sorry if I'm like kind of just like because man the Holy Spirit is just rolling in me right now but it's like a calm passive just pouring of his spirit in me and I do say this is the I've taken communion several times in the last few years but today was the first time I actually took it for the right reasons and I repent right now to to Jesus that I didn't take it seriously the first few times I did it. To really know the meaning of living in the spirit. And, and actually doing it and applying the word to your life. It is just... Something that you can't put into words you actually really have to experience it and your experience is gonna be so different from other people's experience because that's your relationship every relationship is different every relationship is different my relationship with my son Mark is our relationship in my relationship with my son Austin that's our relationship I can't like the other day um, I guess I made a comment on a YouTube video and this guy was I think it's a guy I don't know but they asked like you really believe in this religious figure and he was referring to Jesus and the thing is, is that the video was about him at the um, pool with the, um, the guy that was paralyzed. And he specifically says, do you want to be healed? And, and the guy took that comment and was just like, like he's the only one that can heal you. And I'm like, yes, 
he died for us and like today with communion i was just thinking about those um comments and at the end of that scene that and i even put that in my comment i said look dude i said because he put like religious figures like buddha and all that stuff he said so if you believe in that those guys you're saying um that things are not possible and i'm like well even those figures that you put in there they do not deny god they their main source of their religious practices are from god and the thing is it's not religion i kept on telling them it's not religion it's a relationship and I said, everybody's relationship is different. And I said, that's like comparing apples to oranges. You, you, you know, you, there's, they're not alike. The only thing that they have in common is that they're a fruit. That's it. But other than that, they're, it's, not really, it's not religion. It is a relationship. And... You can preach and have um, doctrine proving that and, and all that stuff. But the thing is, is that you can't tell somebody about this if their mind and their heart and their souls aren't ready to experience it. You have to experience it and I'm here to tell you I have experienced it on both ends you know my spirit in the flesh and my spirit like life through the Holy Spirit it it's totally just like it, it is comparing apples to oranges like you 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 can't you, you have to experience it and I feel like today that yes he has awakened me and he has revived me in the Holy Spirit because I don't know this this is like a totally like a total game changer like when I did I'm like even lost for words right now because I'm just experiencing what's going on even though it's like pouring like crazy out here I'm just sitting in my car here waiting for it to ease up because I'm living in the spirit I'm not thinking like oh when's it gonna stop raining da 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 no there's a purpose and plan for all this. I'm just in awe right now. I'm just like gone. I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. And it's a slow and steady pace. And and I just lo love that. Letting go is where life begins. When you let go of some things that are just in your flesh and just holding you back it doesn't mean that those people aren't going to come back but you're just letting go and letting God do what he needs to do with these people because you can't change anybody you can't have anybody love you it, it's what you can do through the spirit and sometimes they have to experience it for themselves. You really do. But you can live by example and share what you have experienced. I hope you guys have a blessed day.